located in New Sharon, there is a shop that you could say rocks called Pettit's Picks, owned by this man named Bill Pettit. He's owned this place and have had it running since the 80s, and he collects rocks from Maine and all over the world. Gosh, I got people come from uh, Lake Geneva, Switzerland, uh, Singapore, uh, Holland, France, all over the United States. Then I got friends that go to Brazil, so I said, well, you gotta bring me back a rock if you're going to Brazil. And so, uh, anyway, I do a lot of buying and selling and trading. You won't find his shop when searching online, but at least he keeps it classy with business cards. Located at 538 Mile Hill Road in New Sharon, Maine, even though it's pretty secluded, one could say that it's a hidden gem. Is your favorite WWE star The Rock? Mm, WWE what star? WWF star, is it The Rock? Oh, 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 no, I got lots of movies with him in though. This is like almost two million years old. This is a clam. No longer good for chowder. <laughs> However, uh, during a couple million years, it's crystallized some calcite crystals right inside the shell. What is the science behind the, the black light and making the rocks glow? Oh, uh, something about uh, photons, electrons uh, being excited by the light. Uh, in other words, the molecules move faster and makes it visual. These are just some of the stones you can craft with and make jewelry for beautiful people or whatever, or just to look at. And these are ovals. I get them in the rough from all over the world and get my jewelry out, but I don't keep it out in the open because I keep getting robbed and stuff. Oh, these man. are just some cut stones here. I'm getting kind of old to be faceting anymore, but or going to mines, but I'm, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'm not dead yet, so. This one is from the Bennett Quarry. That's where the Rose of Maine was found, the largest pink burl in the world. But the owners were drug addicts. They had to chop it up and sell it for a million dollars so they could get their drugs, and then they got killed in a car accident about a week later, so there's drawbacks to uh, striking it rich, shall we say. But that's a nice burl. This is, this is called graphic granite. Uh, Maine is one of the few places in the world where you're gonna find this rock. It looks like a garlic bread. <laughs> yeah, or a cuneiform. Like, if I cut that square, I'd say, translate that for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is some agate. I find up to Ball Cap Mountain in Andover. And nobody knows it's up there. They say, oh, you gotta go to Perry Beach on the coast. Well, it's like a raw piece of steak. It does, it does. It's, I got some amazing pieces. I haven't polished them all. I wonder that, if you get some good minerals in both the steak and this. Yes, yes. Bacon. <laughs> wow. Now I gotta find an egg to go with it. Yeah, it looks like it's not, it has a lot of fat to it as well. Yeah, yeah. I sell rocks to supplement my income so I can have extra cat food in the winter. Or I think last year's store profit went to heat my house so I wouldn't freeze to death all winter. That's the wrap called. I wonder how much is aged. It looks like aged cheese. Yes. Uh, a little whipped cream, you'd be all set. Oh, that's perfect. One thing I find really interesting um, that I learned recently, which is a new state of matter, um, and it's called vitreous. What do you think about a vitreous rock? Any opinions about that? Well, it's, to me, it's like a, a state of matter where th things are flowing. Now, well, they drill down the earth, er, er, well, what, seven miles? Once they get down that deep, the rock becomes elastic. It's, but it's like when you're reading about the Mayas and stuff, well, or, or even the, the big rock at the wall of uh, the Jewish Wailing Wall over in Israel. No human being moved that rock. I'm sorry, but no. You mentioned that, you said that God talked to you about sharing rocks. Do you remember that conversation and how long ago that was? Well, it's like, uh, oh, it's kind of personal. You're up in the woods all by yourself. And you're looking around and, oh my goodness, this is all God's creation up here. This is real. Religion's not gonna save the world. It's gonna take everybody. Uh, and I think God gave us the job to take care of our own planet here. God, the only thing God requested of us was to be happy. That's all. So if you follow the Ten Commandments and you'll be happy, you'll be doing a lot better. Huh? Some people think, oh, if I go to church, I get to, uh, uh, a free ticket to heaven. Well, uh, if 
you want to think that, go right ahead, but still. So what do you think of this place? I mean, it's a, it's, it's a little overwhelming. Um, it's a, a welcome respite in, um, in just a, a sea of, you know, shopping malls, and um, there's not much up here. Right? Rocks, are, rocks are real. Well, that's true, but I'm, like I'm looking for I'm looking for the real. I'm looking for the the mom and pop shops, and so when I when I we drove by this, by the way, we're on our way to um, look for some thrift stores just to find some fun, true Maine um, possessions. Um, in any case, uh, when we drove by this, I pulled over and I turned around because I realized this is an authentic experience. Um, my daughter's, you know looking for these fun things too and she doesn't really know how to find the fun things nowadays because everywhere you drive it's a walmart and a target but then i found bill's place and it made me so and happy and the schools don't teach none of this stuff life is so short um you got to figure out what you're here for if you're here for anything and go about making things better that's about the only way i can explain that because pollution is not going to stop unless you actually stop it yourself there will be times in your life when you can do things about stuff and that that that's why you're here people have to figure all that out